Hello, Tatians. Hello, Tatians. Hello, Tatians, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Together We Roll. Yay! Yay. <laughs> hey, let's get, uh, let's get to the intro, because we got a, not a purple worm, but a giant electric Oh, well, okay. We well, don't want to thank our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. We're RPG sponsors. Elements, thank you! And who made our uh, uh, pictures again? Uh, pictures are from Corinne Mill, who's done our art, uh, so check out the uh, trailing credits as well. You'll see our full pictures of all our characters. Also, we've got JD Arts, who has done our uh, picture for Vedic, and then we've got one we got to get for you. <laughs> so uh, we may or, you know, we'll probably just contact JD Arts, because he's pretty damn slick. Yes. So we'll get one, we'll get one, for, we'll get one for, for Quinn here shortly. <laughs> but uh, in any case, uh, yeah, let's get to the intro and... Uh, Get to some awesome stuff. By the way, we are doing season two, twenty-five, part two. Yes, we are. We're doing season three. We talked about that <laughs> a little later. <laughs> Not quite yet. Though. All right. Catch you in a minute. Yay! Yeah. Hey, that was a good one. I did it right this time. Hey! And you, and and you talked about it. <laughs> hey, Jack Beans, don't make the subtext text for board in a bar. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Recap. And the World Turtle, uh, on the World Turtle, as the symbol menagerie, plus one. Finished off the copy, had a quick nap, had a little bit of vacation uh, fever going on, followed by uh, traveling and figuring out a little bit more about the mystic nature of one's spiritual guidance. We found some rock candy, almost made a deal with a devil, and then found a frog priest that was persuaded frog and priest. made... Frog priest. <laughs> Don't kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. got some pretty lips, though. So. Anyway, that's a very that was key. persuaded, then ensured to not, uh, to not uh, interfere, as he, too, is here for what you seek, supposedly. As you enter the domain of the elemental harmony, this uh, tip of a ziggurat, you landed tethered to oneself as the guardian, or one of the first guardians, greeted you as this uh, gargantuan creature sized at least the tip of its nose and face, this overgrown eel of purple skin, hues, oily, slightly electric. Oh, geez, I can't Open its mouth and a tongue, which is not normal for a normal eel, sort of jetted out long and, slint, uh, 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 and uh, slick that wrapped around Nyquist, but I also need to make a wisdom saving throw because of your zen like nature as another part of your currently uh, affected self has. Okay. It is not going to attack you. It's going to attack the next person next to you, which is going to be the bone devil. Okay. So, in tr truth, it's not But I'm not attached to the Bone Devil. <laughs> yeah, it grabbed the Bone Devil and it's currently reeling it in as fast as it can into its open maw. But first, roll initiative. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. That's one way to start. Well, then. <laughs> by the way, by the way <laughs> correction, it's actually episode 26. A little bit out of your element. I look at my notes. 26. How part dare two. you get the episodes mixed up? I know. Yeah. Gosh. Okay, um, initiative. Okay. Yes. Within my oh, group. shoot, are we at a disadvantage because we're underwater? No. That's all. No, no just regular. No, but initiative, we're not. Not initiative. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Except for Nyquist, who's under <laughs> disadvantage for everything. I'm cool. It's fine. She's inside of her ice bubble. Yep. <laughs> uh, Johnny, I'll give you the money. Thank you. Holy moly. Thank you. I'm sorry. I've removed the TWR. This will break it. Wow. Okay. Holy crap. Quake that thing putty. is huge and heavy. Quake putty for the win. Holy moly. Oh, yeah. I see it all over the place. Jeez. Yeah, that didn't move. I would have figured that it's, would It's all over the corners. I made it so that because it's. I knew it was going to be a heavy son of a bitch. Speaking of quick putty, we should probably grab some for our characters. Uh, wow, that's yeah, impressive. We'll that's that gorgeous. <laughs> wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, it it is. That's going to be a wonderful domain to conga line through. Hey! 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 So as long as either Sparks or uh, Eck wins initiative, the rest of us are just alone for the ride. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Ray, could you imagine going here? Ah, oh! <laughs> You're trying My to catch initiative still. is seven. Come on. Ooh, we got color coming. Come on. Why don't you look at right here? There we go. Quick, buddy. Good stuff. Good You're stuff. the one. No. Uh, my sisters, I do that. You ever need Ooh, you know, nice stuff to stick aqua together. color there? You really need to make sure you have that. It's amazing color. how these new cameras pick up the color. It's oh, better yeah. than our actual visuals here. It's just a crazy. Mm. Oh, nice. Gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay, so where are we? It's like the the videos are better than <laughs> real life. <laughs> I assume we landed somewhere in the center. I assume we you would land front. your choice of either. Here or here? I like the open area more. Yeah. Not that it's going to matter as we're all dragging each other around. All right. So uh, you two are kind of the, the, the lead anchors. So yep. why don't you... So okay. your decide society is either over here or over here. There you go. Oop. Followed by the rope. Yep. Which is all between us. It's good enough. Good enough. Jump in the line. All over and so initiative in. first, and then we will continue with the craziness. So. Go. I love that I'm facing in the wrong direction. It's just so typically You're just me. checking behind us. Yeah. 20 to 25. 20. 22. Ooh, Damn. 22. Natural 20 for me. Now, we don't get the plus five on that, right? No. As the house rule. For sanity checks, no. Um, the Bone Devil got 20. Ah, then who has the higher decks? Vedic or Bone Devil? Bone plus Devil. Three. You might not. Oh. Are you dexterous? Heard the. Because I'm sure as hell not strong. Heard the core book. Uh, you just decide who goes first. Uh, plus two, so... I'm gonna say Bone Devil. Slightly the edge due to Dexterous. Mm -hmm. I always like that. It was just like, you just pick. <laughs> we tied. Who goes first? I'll go first. 20 to 15. Okay. Uh, oof. 17. 17. Oh, well, just you wait. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you got a seven. Just stop it. <laughs> sipping. Fuck. <laughs> Just casually drinking my coffee underwater. <laughs> you know how. <laughs> the, the thing just keeps refilling itself. <laughs> Round cloud. <laughs> very much like a, a, a startled, uh, startled octopus. <laughs> he's he's like, breathing. It's a sippy cup, so every time he opens it, it clouds. He just sticks his face in it and puts it back. <laughs> 15 to 10. For sure oh not, my god. I don't think that's how fluids work. Ten to five. Seven. <laughs> oh my god. Five and five. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus. Very apt too. I'm Very like, let's too. go. Mm -hmm. I can't move. What the hell? The good news is, sorry, I, I'm not creating much drag. Same. <laughs> my character's probably floating. <laughs> you're currently in an air bubble. <laughs> so nice you're bubble. floating. You're nice that bubble. glass buoy on the I'm, net. <laughs> but I 
I'm attached to the bone devil. So Which he's... is currently being drawn into the mouth. Like, How is the bone devil attached to your You bubble? throw it, it's like buoy. So you throw it a buoy. I throw created it a buoy. an ice bubble to attach to him. Oh, yeah. okay. Like, like I get to determine the shape. Mm. Shape water and frozen. Yeah. Oh, so you froze it around his skeletal structure yeah. at the, on his back. Correct. Okay. It's her inside. <clears throat> so I take nap, as is evidenced by the five. <laughs> a seven. I really was facing the wrong direction. <laughs> like, as this creature fine. is currently inside of here. Oh, I thought. Okay. Right there. So I was facing the right direction. Right yes. There. The bone devil is immediately grabbed and pulled 20 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20. Dragging us along with it. Yes. <laughs> As everyone is dragged along. <laughs> Press the digitation. Make him taste terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's our new I don't strategy. think you have to. It's our new strategy against being eaten. Just make yourself taste <laughs> bad. I mean, a bone right. devil would taste like right, bone. My, my and my since it's close it, enough, it's going to use its. Uh, I have a whole another one if you want. Bite attack to see if it gets swallowed immediately. Hey. Oh. Just Does a twenty-one oh, hit? So you can keep yes. it. I've got another. I'm just able to. And with a. <laughs> Nick, are you still on its back? Yes, she is. Yeah, yeah I'm not done. Okay. Nick, uh, are yeah. you okay? And with a mighty Come smash of the uh, jaws as water uh, evacu uh, uh, evacuates the uh, lack of pressure inside of the mouth, Nicholas and the Bone Devil no, disappear. Nice. Okay, Nicholas went with the Bone Devil? I thought it was just attacking the Bone Devil, not yes. like. Yes, okay. the Bone Devil and Nicholas. It has an ice bubble. Okay, okay. I need to I need to go back and retcon just a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I just assumed that it was just going to take a chunk out of the bone devil and, you know, Nicholas is, you know, along for the ride, but I wasn't going to do anything. So, yes, I absolutely will make it re-roll. <laughs> okay. Yes, you use your reaction. It's like, no, no, I've seen this before. <laughs> 20. Uh, I think it still hits, but just barely. And anybody else? That's a negative ghost rider. Well, that was useless. All right. Yeah. Sorry. They roll very similarly. I tried. That's my pen. <laughs> okay. Is that the TSA safety pen? Mm-hmm. Damn. Oh. Ow. No. It's literally a purple one. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you do not want me. What the heck are you doing? What so, both this? of you... Doosh. Luckily, the rope, you do not take any damage right now as you're just swallowed whole. Sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Where's the DNA scraper? As it's going to go into here, disappear, but you still see. The oh, bottom. that's nifty! Holy hey. shit, this thing's huge. Oh. I so. get it. <laughs> Back in second edition, there was actually a cantrip. That made somebody throw up. There we go. And we're gonna say, there we go. But its body still remains. And the rope has been severed, luckily to your advantage. Um, <laughs> quick point of order just to make sure the bubble's gone, right? Destroyed in the Yes, swallowed. the bubble was destroyed as oh, soon as you got swallowed. swallowed. So easy. You are now uh, restrained, sure. blinded. And currently having trouble breathing, as the bone devil is smashed right next to you with it. But what am I having trouble breathing from? Just pressure by being constricted. By being constricted and the due to the lack of air inside. Okay, so pressure. Yes, yeah. which is water breathing. There's not much water in there. There's not. Uh, so at the top of the round, Eck, it is your turn. As the body of the eel, whoosh, that has very flamboyant. Uh, uh, a tethers around it with various blue and purple uh, dark striations of fins and on the side of its body it. that again <laughs> vibrate with electrical energy around it as it moves into another hole and disappearing, still moving with its slick body. Two people just got swallowed hold of me. Oh, fuck this shit up. Uh, where am I? Um, What's the Shadow of the Colossus? Good. All right, I can move so with the rope. Five or ten. 
This feels like Shadow of the Colossus. Yes, this is not good. Spit it out, spit it out. You are currently tied to other people. Right, but I'm moving literally right to there. Okay. So I can strike at it. Dragging. Or Get I think Nick has a plan. <laughs> Nick has a plan. Dragging. Oh, oh the magnet the right. sticking to the other magnets that are there. But I didn't have I didn't have to move the plan? Me? What are you talking about? I didn't have to move the uh um, panicking, so you're fine. Uh, you the, the rope to be able to do that. No, yeah, you're so I didn't have to move anybody else to move the rope. So I, um, I am going into a rage immediately. I'm just starting to use your bonus boom, action. Boom, boom, boom. And pulling out Chance. No, I see the lightning. So I grab Chance's, Chance's uh, grip blade mm -hmm. and then go and pull out Thornbriar instead. Because <laughs> I see the lightning coming off the creature and I realize... Mm -hmm. Chance is not oh, the one. Let me glorious. grab this one. Make it bleed to death. Understood. As you pull out the thorny uh, uh, brat, uh, thorny branch? No. The thorny uh, blade that is this river uh, uh, long uh, great sword. And uh, I'm going reckless because it just ate my friends. Yes. And I'm, scre I'm, I'm screaming mm. in Aquan. Spit it out! Spit it out! Roll buddy. your attacks, buddy! And, um, Again, reckless. I'm not gonna need it. Oh, because I'm not by myself, but I am gonna. But 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 because I did go reckless. Um, what? When I, when you used your bardic inspiration, you failed, right? Yes. You kept it. You you don't oh, lose the yeah, dice. He's got a special ability. You, you don't lose the dice if you fail. As soon as you get within melee distance, the air around is is electrified. As you get close, a little bit of electric energy, <laughs> and you're trying to dodge out of the way. Make a dexterity saving throw. Make I sure you don't idea. take okay. too much damage from this and electrified this is body. Advantage on dex things, uh, dexterity saving throws on effects that I can see. So advantage. It's a con saving throw. My apologies. <laughs> oh, okay. So no, only Constitution. Okay. Twenty-two. <laughs> Twenty-two. You succeed. The electrical energy is trying to overtake yeah. you, but as in having build up in the, in your body of the electrical right. energy, it's not causing you much harm at the moment due to your hardy shell granted upon you. <laughs> We'll um, all, all right. right. Uh, well, sorry, I went reckless on this guy. Yes. And uh, I had a... I didn't tell you the numbers I got. No, because I interrupted. Yeah, So, but it was a 19 plus, uh, plus 10 to hit. Is that right? Yeah, it'd be plus 10 or plus 11. You said Great Weapon Master? Well, reckless. Reckless, excuse me. Yeah, so I, I had advantage on the strike. Um, I had 19 and a 3, I think. Depending but I had 19. on how you do this. So 29 to hit. Hits. And uh, that's going to be 2d6 plus, <laughs> 2D6 plus 1d4. Plus slugger strike. Yep. So let me grab here. So my 2d6 plus my slugger strike. Sorry, I'm unprepared. I should be better prepared. Sorry. Uh, 2d6. That's my 2d6 here, and then sluggers, and then 2d6 there for sluggers, and uh, 1d4 for thornbriar. Correct. Mm. Seven, eight, nine. Do I, can I uh, add them all together? Yes. Seven, eight, nine, ten, 13, 16 points uh, plus. Nine, so uh, 25. You take nine points of lightning damage. Ow. As soon as you strike it, you feel the jolt of energy go striking through your body. Poosh. Maybe, uh, man. Maybe I should pick up. Maybe I should pick up. Chance, maybe it'll take up the, absorb the energy. Uh, instead of taking it onto me, probably not. Uh, all right, uh, I'm going in for the second. Oh wait, I yeah, I did. Two, I did sluggers. So uh, I'm going in for a second strike. Understood. And again, it's an advantage. It's an adva an advantage of my. Woo! This is brilliant, yeah. <laughs> I've had this for a while. I was ready. It's the right thickness for exactly for the it's model. It's brilliant. 
Alright. Alright, so um, that's going to be 23 to, 24 to hit. Hits. You take 12 points of lightning damage. 12? 12. Damn, this is going to kill me because I'm not enraging. It doesn't matter. Uh, 12 plus 9 to... Uh, I'm really, six. really good. Hmm? Take half, don't you? No, uh, raging on lightning. Oh, different totem. Nine plus six. He's uh, totem. I went. I've done that before. Nine. I'm sorry. Spot, it was previous uh, barbarian. How much damage? My favorite one is. Uh, you tell me. Nine uh, plus what? Dwarf. What'd you just take? What did I just take? Druid. Twelve points. Twelve so points. Yeah. Wild shapes. So and twenty-one points of damage already from lightning. Jesus. No I'm rolling really good. <laughs> Freaking a. I was a three foot barbarian. That can fly. That can fly. It was a dense pill to swallow. <laughs> there we go. Spent chewing taffy with that guy. I was nicknamed Tiny Tor. That's Tiny eleven. Door. Ah, okay. Tiny so door. eleven plus. Um, I don't get to roll another d4, right? Or do I? Yeah, I do. On each, yeah, you do. On each attack. Okay, and then he has to save or not. So it's one. Unfortunately, it's twelve points. Twelve points plus nine, so twenty-one points of damage. Still, as you do two heavy strikes, slap, slap. Biting down your jaw as it electrifies your mouth. It's painful, but you're you're hitting whatever you can. Motherfucker. It is now the Watch out for uh, watch out for the lightning. Now let me do this right now to see what's going on. Unfortunately, absorb elements is a self spell. Yeah, I was just I just looked up the same thing. I'm like, I might be able to like grab it, but no. Oh yay, that's great. Giant metal man. <laughs> you electricity or something? No, no, it's not. Really <laughs> Siphoning hex. Uh, one says all and one says half. I think the hex would be great. You do a lot of damage really quick. Ah, ah, ah. It's only one extra attack. Yeah, but for me, me with my, <laughs> weapons, <laughs> four. With my weapons, that gives me a lot of damage really, really quick. Yeah. I'm going to go with all. I'm pretty sure it's all. Okay, cool. I'm going to rip this one up. Yep, yeah. perfect. Thank you. Oops, I accidentally have duplicates of an item. <laughs> it was not clear which one oh my God. I should listen to. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, so it is now the bone of turn that is currently swallowed. It's, uh, uh it is the bone devil's turn. Cut its way out. <laughs> Vedic, it is your turn next. Yeah, I got it. Hey. What'd you roll for your initiative? 20. What's your 15? I rolled a 14. Ah, uh, he's going to stashy, slashy stab at the thing that ate him. At disadvantage, because it's uh, grappled and restrained. Sure. But it can do so because his entire body is a weapon. It's like swallowing a thorn briar. It's not fun going down. All right, first attack. Um, sad twenty. Uh, that's a twenty-four to hit. Hits. Second claw. Uh, that is a twenty-two to hit. Hits. And the it's sting. Stomach, how hard is it? Right, like it should be pretty straightforward. Well, it needs a throw. Um, fourteen. Does not hit. Sad sting. All right. Its tail is getting caught up with a. Very strong muscle fibers inside its throat right now, as it's currently being forced down to stop it. Choke on it. That's, eight, 12. <laughs> that's oh, bitch. 14 <laughs> slashing damage. All right. It's better. Wait, it's better. And for the second attack? No, that was total. Oh, total. Understood. Screaming in infer uh, infernal on the way down to the stop uh, to the stomach, it's clawing its uh, claws on the way down, trying to stop, knowing that you are on its backs, kind of uh, being forced out at the same time, but just trying to choke the fucker on its way down. Fortunately, being pushed down with each movement of the esophagus, but causing just streaks of opening flesh on the way down. <laughs> Pretty sure he's used to swallow me. Medic. So, Vedic is standing, you know, gets tugged, tugged across the across the floor, and sees Nikwis go down the throat. And he goes, "You are encased in a globe of shimmering force, okay. gold. It's the uh, globe of um, invulnerable. No, don't no, it's you not have to see the person. I don't. I just had to look it up. It's anybody in range. What? I know. 
it's a fifth level spell. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do? Well, no, not you, but like, like. It's expensive. I know what the globe of invulnerability it's is. It's not the globe of invulnerability, or maybe it is. No, great. it's a resilient sphere. Oh, uh, oh, which meh. is what? A sphere of shimmering force encloses a creature or lock of object or large size or smaller within range. An unwilling creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Could you uh, could you put the whole bone devil in that? No. Oh. Not that I would either. Nothing, not physical objects, energy, or other spell effects can pass through the barrier in or out. So a sphere. <laughs> though, a hamster ball. Though a creature in the sphere can breathe, the sphere is immune to all damage, and a creature or object inside can't be damaged by attacks or effects originating from outside. Nor can a creature inside the sphere damage anything outside. The sphere of can I leave it? No. <laughs> Said I'm. Can, what Within unwilling? Where? What? What's the unwilling? Deck save. Okay. Make a deck save. Oh. oh. A disadvantage. Now the question is, it's it's either the Bone Devil or her. It's not both. Just put it in. I'm gonna no, say, just me. He wouldn't do okay, it. Okay, so Nicholas, mm -hmm. you're no longer a disadvantage as a creature attacked you oh. indirectly, but still you're down the sarcophagus at the throat. You are not in your hand place. So you are in your hand. <laughs> An enclosed creature can use its action to push against the sphere's wall and thus roll the sphere at up to half the creature's <laughs> speed. <laughs> the the it's the golden hamster ball. Right. Okay. Cool. So, um, I'm not a general rolling it. Arcana check. Okay. okay. It is in a creature. No, no, but hold on. What? She's trying he to resist. said I can resist. <laughs> Before we're doing anything else, I am resisting. I'm going to see if the spell even makes it to you. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> puts it around the bone devil. We'll get you eventually from the hands of all. Because there's currently two it's options. Wait, I can do things. Just wait for it to pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I was really hoping what happens is that there's a section of the worm that goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where she is. Get her. <laughs> Roll an arcana check. I just did. Hang on, okay. hang on. Uh, I gotta get my modifier. <laughs> It's like, it's like all of a sudden. Because you're right, it's not a person that you can see. But it is casting a spell. It is casting a spell inside another creature. So things can get weird. There she is. She's right there. Okay. That's, right a, there. That's, 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 a, that's a 22 or kind of check. Okay. Yeah, you can cast it. Now make your dexterity saving throw. Brian. We know where she's at now. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha. Brian. Roll again. Hmm, that's a side based thing. Lucky? No, it isn't. Oh, lucky? Yeah. I have lucky shit too. Double check, bitch. I'm gonna double check shit. Did lucky let you make someone else reroll? And if yes, I think so. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, we should. Three, what do you make? We attack roll, bitch. Check a saving throw, or when it attack rolls, man. Nope, it doesn't work. No. No, you're good. You made your save. Cool. So as you cast, you're like, ha ha, and you're like, I'm, as you hear, our, there's the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Before the ball dissipates after a few seconds as it has okay. nothing inside of it. All right. But you know, it should have worked. It should have worked. Which means right now Vedic's just going, bitch. <laughs> and uh, he's going to run. No, no, wait, wait, and then, wait. How much, how, what does it take for me to cut the rope? <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, a bonus action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have half movement unless you have a swing spell. Oh god, no, I don't. Have <laughs> what are you kidding? He's a wizard. <laughs> now remember, guys, everything right. is in three dimensional now. If you want to go up, you oh, can. We're <laughs> totally going up. I can't go up. I'm 500 right, pounds. So I'm looking who's cut. Let's see I here. Mean, you so can do the clip. Uh, you and I are together. Yeah, right? mm, no. No. Oh, perfect. Vinic Actually, I can't, even, I can't even swim that far. I'm tight. No. <laughs> you can also uh -huh. read, uh, put it sideways if you so desire. No, it's fine. Yeah. But it, it's worth noting that he was like tying me to the rope, and he goes, "All right, tie the rope," and he's describing what he's doing, and I just kind of went, and I literally painted on this. <laughs> I'm not tied to this group. Like, I actually never was tied. I was just holding on. I'm going to trust you. <laughs> it is now the Guardian's turn. It is going to continue moving as the body is... <laughs> the tail stays there. Slightly moves, but it, for the most part... Just, just the head comes back to over here. It's still going through. <laughs> it's going to go right here. <laughs> Swim the other way! Swim the other way! <laughs> <laughs> as you see the head pop out... Some of the uh, stone and rubble falling away <laughs> as it's forcing its uh, way through the wall itself. <laughs> it's gonna see the giant shiny. I was yeah. I'm a golden roar. <laughs> You're a fishing lure, <laughs> and you cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> as the time, 
opens its mouth as it's, uh, uh, right. as you're swimming oh, that direction, right. you see a dark hole as you see the stone like, starting oh, to vibrate around you. <laughs> and you're swimming, swimming, swimming. You see the tip of the nose once again Goodbye. with the very uh, 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 antenna, antennae testing the air around it before its jaw opens and a tongue <laughs> comes flinging out. Damn. Goodbye. We're going to have to kill this. We have it's too strong on the outside. We have to kill it from the inside. <laughs> we do not. All right. <laughs> Does a 26 hit? I've got a stupid idea. Yeah. No. That would hit me. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see what I can do about it. That would hit me. Yeah, but it's better. No, no. He's the I'm one. lucky. Roll it again. <laughs> <laughs> is Medic is a lucky fuck. Is that once per day or something like that? No. 23. Uh, now I will use shield. <laughs> doesn't that use uh oh no, Lucky doesn't use a Lucky doesn't use anything, it's wonderful. Fuck, it's a broken feet! Right. Anyway, so <laughs> so as a tongue knocking you back <laughs> five feet at the tongue wraps around you before the bubble whoop, <laughs> as if uh, slicks back and has the bubble like holding a soap bar that's a little too slippery in the shower <laughs> as you go flying and just almost buoyant for a half second. As a tongue, it's gonna try again. Oh god! Well, it's okay. I thought I put my yeah, <laughs> bubble. The shield persists for the round, doesn't it? Yes, until it's next. That's turn. a natural twenty. Roll it again! <laughs> oh shit! Dude. I am not going in the worm. Times can you do Sixteen. He's got three uses of lucky. No. <laughs> you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> That's the <laughs> Two luck points in one round. Oh no. It one is gonna turn. It is gonna move the 120 feet. Mm. Did I move? Please. How, far, how much movement did it take to get to there? So how much hang on, hang on. There we go. This is 60. uh 60. So we'll say Okay, say it stays there. Okay. I wasn't okay. figuring it was it's gonna stop, but I was like, oh, no, I'm just gonna count it out. To That's why I said 120 feet. I'm like, how much <laughs> you would get there? Yeah, give it another 10, 15, maybe, but yeah. Okay. This At is the start of the sea slug shit. Those in Southern <laughs> need to make a constitution saving throw. All right. But you're no longer at disadvantage. Uh, me first. Oh, yeah. That's a much better thing than it used to be. Um, I'm, that's 22 for me. You succeed. And for the bone devil, that's 18 plus something. Uh, bone devil. On 22. I am misreading the thing. There is no save for this. I am sorry. <laughs> All right, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. Roll for her. Roll, roll, roll a save. It's you failed. Nick. I didn't even roll yet. Exactly. You failed. It's a Where's the Thor face? It's a Literally, roll a save. You failed. I didn't roll yet. You failed. You take 21 points of acid damage. You could have been inside a bubble, but and no. Uh -huh. The Bone Devil takes 24 points of acid damage. Does the um, Bone Devil take acid damage? Yeah. Probably. I'm checking. It might be resistant or something. Uh, He's got a whole I think fuck acid is more the demon side. It <laughs> generally is, but it depends on the layer of hell. Yeah, it's not him. His is the poisons and stuff. Ah. Sparks, um, it is your turn. I Good. need you to repeat the numbers because people are asking questions. 21 and 24. You get 21, he gets 24. I'm going to do something really stupid here. Pull out my uh, Parkburn's piece. No. A little bit of water, uh, bubbles coming out of the tip of hard currency. <laughs> 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 As a surprisingly lucky kobold is not being fish lured right now. <laughs> just chewing on it. Chewing on the shield. <laughs> this strange, slick, electrified tongue wrapping around with blinding speed like a almost like live serpent snake whip that is not able to get this tiny fucking cobalt. <laughs> is it a new day? It is a new day. Good. I'm going to activate opposing intent. Okay. Or, I, yeah, opposing intent. Which is what? Increasing my AC. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> As you see a little bit of shimmer as the water around you starts to vibrate around you as this almost invisible force reinforces your already armored hide. 
Yep. Excuse me, Vedic. I'm and just going to... half movement. Yep, I'm, I moved 20, so I'm just going to go. Excuse me, Vedic. And I'm going to say, due to your heavy nature, you cannot uh, swim upward. I'm not bothering. I'm just... He just trudging along the bottom. Yeah. You're full armored, 500 pounds, plus it's your heavy he dwarven... Slow down? He's still slowed down because heavy. the water is still liquid. It's still know? heavy. Yeah. I'll just pull out Harkin's piece. And I have I have a standard shot loaded currently. Okay. I'm gonna try <laughs> something. Really kind of stupid here. We'll see if it works. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be stupid or not. We'll see. Oh, it can't be as dumb as what I'm gonna do. Oh, uh, everyone wants a stupid idea when it works. So let's, I'm going to try. I have to wonder what. That's a great idea. idea. That's not a good idea. That's not a good. That's not a good idea either. Okay, fire it is. <laughs> I would like to play at some point. As you're going, please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Please don't. As you pull the trigger, twenty-five. Twenty-five. Ah, you are firing a ranged, a ranged weapon underwater. Yes. That is not designed to be underwater. Yes. Roll a disadvantage. Twenty-three. Nice. It does not blow up, and you still hit. Good. Ching. I always love the words. It does not blow up. Okay. <laughs> so, I feel like I'm gonna start including that in my tech and my instead. It amazes <laughs> me if you've done this correctly. <laughs> it does not blow up. <laughs> well, his his thing's got tabs on his. Yeah, I, I, I've got so many different bullets here, I have to have tabs built into my round pipes. Mm. Uh, Steampunk City yeah. has a lot of uh, I'll roll a damage parts. later. I'll roll a damage later. I'm going to then load. I, I pull out one of my fancy rounds. It is glowing red, and it seems to be almost having the latent frost effect and just surrounded by a bubble of steam as I load it into the One of the Hellfire reach. rounds. And a lot. Sight it in. As you use a second attack action to load it up, as it pulls out, this ding! is called a dragon round. <laughs> Five hundred gold piece rounds. Better fucking hit. At disadvantage. That's not great. That's not great either. Um. Okay. What, what did you roll? What was the die roll? Uh, that was a four. Roll another d twenty, please. Oh shit. Uh oh. You just suffered a misfire. That's a nine. Nine. As you release, there's a small explosion inside the, the chamber, and it detonates inside the actual barrel itself. Luckily, well, it's a magical barrel. Roll the uh, damage for yourself. Ow! As it just backfires. I'm it. sorry, Vedic. I hope you're resistant to fire. I'm not. Because <laughs> I think this has an AoE. It does have an AoE, if I remember oh, correctly. No. Uh, creature within five feet of the target, which is me. And you. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is not going well. Like For what it's worth, we're doing more damage to our You can save it. Uh, make it yes. DC 15 deck save. Episode so name. Well, I fail automatically. Fuck. Yeah. It says fail <laughs> automatically. Yep. Episode name. Well, that is a 16 on the die, and I have a positive modifier. So you make it. Good. You take half damage to this. <laughs> Episode name. Um, TPK. Okay, so I need more D6s. <laughs> what? <laughs> it was a 500 gold piece round. That gun is going to disappear. <laughs> uh, so let's see. Uh, do I, am I just rolling for the round? Yes. Just the round itself? Just the round itself. There okay, never mind. I don't need that. Yeah. You didn't actually get shot by it. It just detonated. Yeah, so if I did get shot by it, that would be 3d6 plus the 2d12 that it normally does. That's not too bad. Okay. That's going to be seven points of fire damage. Seven points of fire damage. Half to you. As your arm separated. Still connected to the various parts of the weapon that you were holding. But as the barrel goes flying, almost like a meteor approach. As the uh, various pieces and parts of the weapon are just skewed in every direction. Making it a, uh, uh, almost like a confetti cannon of metal. Mm, confetti cannon. 
Art Kearns piece of shit. <laughs> God damn it. Mother fucking slide on my sword. Slide on my shield. God fucking damn it. I'm just gonna go back to the fucking weaker sight and get myself some damn weapons that actually function the better of. And maybe something functions underwater because Jesus fucking Christ, I'm really pissed off I spent so much money on the damn weapon. I'm not salty. <laughs> but you're in salt water. <laughs> At the end of your turn, it's about a hundred gold piece round. That's not do anywhere near enough damage. That's crap. It's called prototype weaponry. Um, okay. At the I, end of your turn, yep, I can't do anything. It's going to use a legendary action. Oh, well, that's fine. It I got be, nothing else. Yep. I need pencil. It's going to move. Oh, this piece of eraser doesn't work. It's going to go out through another chamber and still be. There's a 500 gold piece round. Damn, yep. that's expensive. It's going to go full ball into this hole and disappear. Working on it. Then we got an eraser. Mm-hmm. One that works. You had it. I think the one on the same one on the back of that one. So. Yeah, this thing's huge. Yeah, it is. Oh, but do you know what the good side up to that is? It's easy to hit. Good, good enough. Good job. We're gonna do that. Guess I need to get myself a new weapon. I don't have to worry about range anymore. So I can do some decent range. You want to switch around to the small end on the other side? Sure. Trying to make it balance. You want to go underneath, right? There we go. That does the job. That's not insane. okay. Oh, I still hit it once, so I got to roll the damage for that. Oh, yes, you did. That is, look at that. That is so insane. So insane. That's not bad. It's going to be 18 points of piercing. 18 points of piercing. That wasn't half bad. Just destroyed my fucking weapon. Yep. It was a hard hit, but the second one, it hurt you. Spiritually and physically. Spiritually, emotionally, physically. Quinn, it is your turn. Ecumenically. Emphatically. Um... Okay. <coughs> You're on deck. Mm-hmm. I am going to first use my bonus action to uh, make disparaging remarks about uh, this overgrown uh, worm that we're facing. Okay. Using. I mean, can you see it? <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Me, can it's see all it. over the place right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unsettling words. So I get to roll a d8 and sub- it has to subtract that from its next save. Seven. The next saving throw it makes is subtract seven. Remember that, please. I will do that. Um, and then I'm going to shoot at it twice. Uh, but actually, before all that takes place, so this thing appeared and, and swallowed the Bone Devil and, and Nicholas. Nicholas. And, and then Queen McMull and this bubble floated sedately to the top of this pool. And when it opened, you hear... Fuck! <laughs> There's a frog in it. Followed by the laughter of a certain blue, uh, 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 blue frog guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sharpshooter. Okay. Uh, How close are you to a body part, specifically? I'm under a body part over here. Like, I, I think I'm literally under it, still. Right there. Okay. Are you within 10 feet of it? I only need to be within 150 feet of it. I'm not, asking for oh, something else. For its electrical thing? Yeah. Uh, it depends. If it's at the height that it looks at, then no. But I'm going to say... It, so I'm going to say no. Okay. Yeah. You as you see the electrical discharge, as you're just like... Yeah. <laughs> it's shining away yeah. from that. It's all possible. All right. So 20 damage from the first hit. Damage or the hit? Damage. Did you hit for the first time? 
Yeah, it rolled at 14 plus uh, 6. It's 29 hit. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I was going to say, if one doesn't hit, we're fucked. Uh, there's a 15 hit. It does not. Okay. As you release the first one, you see a little bit of electrical discharge from your body, and you're like, ah, so as you go uh, shoot a little line, hits the body, but bounces off of its rubbery hide. Okay. Oh, but it does take an additional D4 damage from my... Oh. So two extra damage. Hey, it's damage. Damage is damage. Damage be damage. That doesn't take an action. I use my bonus action. All right. That's me. Nicholas. Uh, Before I'm... you go, it's going to take a legendary action. Okay. Uh-oh. Take every one of its legendary actions. It's going to move again. <laughs> In which all we see is just its butt disappear. <sighs> Can I have a flying thing? Not all. Alright. That's, that's I'm just saying I have stands. Peace. <laughs> that gotcha, huh? You need to go, and I will have to replace you later. Probably with something a little more advantageous. It's going up the stairs and I hit my toe really cool. Oh. Oh, have you kicked anything since you've been here tonight? No. Okay, you and me are the only two people that have not kicked something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Table, and it's chair. Pop its head out right there. Okay. Wow. That's it. It's going to fall next to you. It's going to face step out of it. Mm-hmm. Um, you're you're going to what? I'm Say. going to face step out of it. Oh, yeah. Okay. So 30 feet Ooh. in. Go ahead and roll a directional dive. You gotta guess, guess where the worm isn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> 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 it's oh, that would be bad luck. That would be great. <laughs> I don't have a direction. Alright, um, I don't know where my directional die is. Eight. So Here, right here. Each one's a oh, thank you. So you... Thank you for spinning it at the same time. Uh, you are going to be more over here. Oh, where you got eaten? Good. Cool. So land bearish. So cool. As you're now inside this uh, structure oh. of this top part of the ziggurat, and you see the various uh, shell structures straight above you that is made out of a giant shell of a sea creature that spirals up. We're seeing various carvings on the inside, but right now there's too much going on as you see coral pillows. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm so, scorched. The creature is with an eyesight, correct? Yes. Okay. He's um, everywhere. So <laughs> mental syndicate does not require line of sight. It requires it to be within eyesight. I have been reading that wrong. That's yeah, but I, I kind of like how you were playing it. Okay, anyway. that's fine. Well, then I'll turn around and face it. I don't care. All right. Um, but... I now speak its languages. Whoa. It probably didn't have one. If it has any form of communication, I speak it now. You speak Oshwin. You speak Celestial. You speak... um, You speak every uh, aquatic elemental language, which there are a lot of them, but I'm not going to get into that. Cool. I yell everyone, don't attack it. And then I say to it... Spit it out, let us go, stop attacking. And I cast Suggestion. Ooh. Okay. Suggestion, isn't, no, that's not command as a single word. This is a suggestion. Correct. It's one to two sentences. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, wisdom saving throw. Um, oh, boy. The only ones that can't, ha- it has to be able to understand me, and it has to not be immune to charm. I don't think it's immune to charm. I hope, it's, I hope it's not immune to charm. It is well, not immune to charm. One of my thoughts was uh, Tasha's Sidious laughter. But it does need to make <laughs> a wisdom saving throw. Correct. Service. Oh, and I will have subtle spelled this so I can activate my Shadowfell shard so it's rolling with disadvantage. Roll a general persuasion check at the same time. Okay. This took a very different turn and very quickly. At disadvantage because of <coughs> being attacked. You're casting the spell at the same time you're saying this. Okay. Yeah, at disadvantage right now. Disadvantage. I'm going to re-roll this one. Okay. Spending all the sorcery points. Uh, so 19 plus 5. 
On your persuasion? Yep. Oh. My persuasion is much lower than my intimidation. Oh, Makes sense. He's intimidating. <laughs> and for the wisdom saving throw, regardless of that, is, uh, is going to be... Okay. And it's at disadvantage. Oh, right, right, right. And it gets to minus seven from it. Mm. So then I'm just going to take a 17 minus seven, which is going to be a 10 plus six. So 16. Fails. <laughs> Fails. It's going to burn its legendary resistance. Of course. Uh, but it stops in place, making eye contact, its nose just tipping out again as it makes eye contact with you, this ancient creature of more priori, uh, prior, uh, a primordial, thank you, essence. As you see now, its body a little bit more fluidity than it should have. You trespass on my domain. Yet you do not need tributes. What counts as tribute? That's the end of your turn. Okay. It has not moved or done anything yet. Mm-hmm. Barb Devil listens. She, okay. She held it still. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to hold in case it. If the thing attacks the barbed devil. Oh, I'm holding my action. Grr, damn it. Unfortunately, it takes 2d4 damage uh, from from uh, Thornbriar unless it makes a save for each. It takes damage and then saves. Well, no, it, it takes damage and then saves. Is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. So. Aren't you raging? Yes, I am. Now, unfortunately, that means I'm going out of rage. Well, I'm holding my action right now. In case if it, if it attacks, I'm attacking it. It took it seven points of bleed damage, uh, slashing damage from bleeding from Thornbriar. How much? Seven. Seven, and both wounds closed. Okay. I just rolled them, so. Okay. Um, I think it's a, it's pretty low. I think it's a ten or something. Yeah, and it has a, a big constitution. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> uh, DC 15, actually, is con save. It's a DC 15. It still makes it. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to clarify the what the, the actual DC says. Bone devil holds its turn. It is currently inside the <laughs> the bone. Devil. Yeah, it telepathically was communicated with, and it must follow orders. You just hear it. <laughs> I am not dying the way of my brothers. Sweet music. <laughs> I don't know what he says, but I think I understand it. This is not, this is not how Batman dies. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a shame if something bad happened to him. <laughs> it is your turn. Who's? Uh, I will hold my action to cast a spell if he decides to. Which spell are you holding? Blink. Understood. <laughs> and. Light <laughs> up! No. It is now the Guardian's turn. It slowly moves forward. Gets a little bit of a better point of view. At some point, please let its butt appear. (laughs) What? Oh, you okay? You're swimming. (laughs) As it's still in the air, but getting a little bit closer. We'll say there. The rope. Uh, let's see here. Where was I next to the next to it when it was? Had lightning? You're next to it. I are. Well, then I would Nick, I would have moved out of the lightning range if I'm not going to actually. Fair point. Thank you for Nick saying. Was I would have moved out of the lightning yeah, range and done nothing There's else. Right there. So about there. Um, just just and enough. That's how I finally. Did. Oh, and <laughs> we're going to say that the barbed devil does the exact same thing. Oh, okay, I wouldn't swim into lightning. Okay. Yeah, you are, yeah, and you are just you out of range. Virgin you can sacrifice the virgin. Right. Looks up. You're small. Oh, right one. I brought you these cultists as a sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to go about there. Oh, good. Shiny metal man right in front of it. You yeah. try to sacrifice me. I swear to God, I'm banishing myself and leaving you long. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as it takes the tip of those, brings it down right behind you, Sparks, as you stop, turn around ever so slowly. Oh, I think now I'm going to attend the the Colossus, or Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, a little bit. As Nicholas begins to converse with it, as it changes to its preferred speaking, Aquaman. Sure. 
You can understand it now. Heck. Speaking of one. Tribute is paid through proving. A little less metaphor? You ask too much. Prove your worth. We brought you this blue frog Ooh. dude up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't the frog see. dude doesn't even know what's going on. And he, he sneezes. <laughs> just, just, the, just the tongue comes up out of the water. <laughs> yes. No, no. Uh, We're talking about my time is come. Do metal shell or hide? Prove your worth. Quoting this out loud to so, all of you: well, metal can, shell can, or hide? Now wait a minute. Is it's it, in Aquin. So I understand it. Is yeah. it speaking out loud, right through the water? So I hear it without translation. It said, "Prove your worth." <laughs> Pulling out Prove a your metal <laughs> through your hide. Is that what it said? Metal shell or hide. Metal shell or hide. Okay, there. I think go. you've got to go through the worm. <laughs> All right, the shot. I'm on it. Uh, you think I should? No, I don't think you should. <laughs> well, it did say maybe we. I did say maybe we have to do this from the inside. Sure, there's also like a little circle thingy that somebody could stand in that has metal shell or hide. Oh, fuck it. Uh, Who's up next? All right. Uh, it was my turn. Well, it was one, no, no, I'm sorry. We're out of turn order. Oh, we're out of turn order. All right, how far I can swim? I'm going to the center. <clears throat> I'm in the center. Where, so where, as where, you where, just where say what I? you're doing right now, David. Away from the map. All right, I'm <laughs> going. I'm going to the center center of the ziggurat where there's. Um, as you uh, go to the center. Doing your natural turtle self as you're swimming. Forty. Eat. I'm like boom. boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> you get to the center of this ziggurat, buried, long buried, over who knows how long it has been here. As you see the shells and the corals that are acting as the pillars here, you make a general perception check. Don't worry, this is on pause right now because I'm doing descriptions. <laughs> Need to be sad because I was talking. 27. 27? With the various coral that is going off, left, uh, there are four of them in question, each one different from the last. One made from a vibrant red coral that seems to vibrate with energy around the coral, uh, uh, coral itself. That seems to be harder as you went by it. You see another coral that has a hole in it that has some sort of almost like a, a strange symbol on the inside, followed by chain that seems to be slightly out of tune as there's a chain uh, hook at the very top that has been severed from the base of it and you notice it going above around and underneath to where a boulder is this boulder that i always use in the oh, i saw this on the map and i didn't think it was anything like that oh that's clever as it's connected by heavy chains to this boulder and there's a, he's actually got a cable underneath it. Look at that. You're so and slick, man. Let me remind myself of the last pillar. I was like, I this boulder to... looks out of place on the map when I was like, but maybe he just wanted to have a rough boulder there. ahead. Remind myself of the last one. Front door. That one's check. That one's check. That one's check. Okay. Last one. <clears throat> the curl seems to form into almost like a stone-like structure or many holes in it of a total race that has a tribal, uh, almost like, uh, originally even though made in stone, of a, almost like a wood slash leather a shield and a spear with a strange, almost perfectly smooth oval at the ch uh, center of its chest. It's with I am, strange I am, I am markings. Iron uh, goodness gracious! Well, um, 
I'm thinking of a chain. I should pull the chain because I'm strong. I could rip off the pull that. Then do it. Well, then there's also the turtle race as well. Just start doing stuff. Uh, I try to connect the change of. I don't know if they have to be connected or pulled or. Make a quick. Uh, no, with your pass. Uh, with your. Uh, oh, 27. Yeah, 27. Really you notice that they are old looking books that are slightly overgrown with barnacles. But yes, it looks like that one of them is a male and a female part of some greater connecting. So part. I gotta basically go. Pretty much. And as you start to pull one, you notice that the uh, rigging and the chains that go to the boulder itself is slightly wrapped around or pinched by other debris that has fallen on the chain itself. I'm running out 40 feet to go and try and push this boulder away. Well, actually, first off, can I hook the two together? Or do they, do Make they, a strength check. That's what I'm going to try to do first. If they hook together, great. If they don't hook together, I'm going to try and get that boulder off of there. Slippery man, damn it! Slippery. What's your roll? Two, two <laughs> plus um, strength check. Yeah. Well, seven with advantage because you're raging. Oh, um, well, I held my action. I'm gonna say you're in a situation that you're not in a cool place right All now. Right. Maybe twenty-three. Twenty-three. As you begin the full. <laughs> As the chain, as it begins to unfurl and pull a couple of loose rubble that has fallen off it, with the various movements of this water guardian, you get one, two, three, as it starts to slack up, as you begin to pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, and then you hit about a solid foot away, and you're like, as your muscles are almost feel like they're going to pop out of, a, of the actual muscle itself. Is there anything you guys would like to do to assist with this, or do in general? Thief. I'm right next to him. Right next to the chain? I'm right next to him. Oh, true. So just yeah, assisting. Roll strength check. Me? Yes. Okay. Check. Wow. It's fucking slippery, man. Three. It is. As you try, you're trying to pull, pull. Reroll right? it. Thank you. Using your last luck? I, no, I'm using my last of the temporal rewind thing. Ah. Not much better. Still slippery. Let me give it a... <laughs> <laughs> That'd be an 11. 11? You're not helping that much. 18. 18. <laughs> as this very petite looking elephant <laughs> individual, as you guys put all your might into it, as you're trying to swim, pull, and move things out of the way, as you're taking various bits of rubble and debris, and you're pulling the chain, eventually... <laughs> You hook it together and release immediately as the chain is, as the chain immediately starts to pull like an anchor falling down faster and faster, immediately causing you guys to blow apart as the rock pulls inward, cracking the stone as it falls, as this uh, eel begins to recede ever so slightly, as the stone uh, drags to the center and begins to lift up. And before it settles, good 50 feet in the air. And you start to hear a shuddering of something more massive in the walls moving as it begins to lower ever so slightly. That's a timer. As doors open on the walls. Uh. And the water, you hear a rushing water. As this eel form begins to recede into the walls. <laughs> <laughs> as the water itself begins to recede. <laughs> and Aquan, once again, overwhelming presence as it vibrates the very water itself. You will begin the trials of the origins of your life. Begin? Drive on. Not disappoint. Quick, quick. Spit out my devil! Make a persuasion check. <laughs> this is not how Bone Man dies. This is not how Bone Man dies. <laughs> Please let this be how Bone Man dies. <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> that is a 22. 22. As it disappears, as soon as the water is beginning to recede, <laughs> as the original <laughs> area <laughs> that is going in, <laughs> it kind of stops, and you're... What? Fluke! 
It's <laughs> sound of a cat knocking up a hairball. Yeah. Uh, it does take sound. a bit of damage. <laughs> no, <Nope. laughs> it takes an additional 17. Then 26. Uh, where did he, he go? Hold on, I have to find him so I can write down numbers. Um, say yeah, again. I'll, I'll tell you one them straight. Check. Okay. You said 17 I'm and 26? I'm writing them down. I'm waiting. <laughs> you can shoot well, that's all you need to do. Well, it was pulling, that's my one. Oh, and then we'll get one spat out. standing there going, that's How's fair. your day going? <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Nine. Oh, okay. Hey, our bone devil's back. Ten. Yay. I think it lasts a full minute inside the stomach. Sure. So I'm going to add this up 18 plus 20. Yeah. Plus 19 plus. 20 plus 19 plus oh, 17 mm. plus 26 Use it. plus if it doesn't 14 succeed, plus 15 you keep it. plus 20 is going to be 188 points of acid damage. It hit every time? It's not a hit. It's just it takes damage. It just takes damage. Okay. Yeah. Well, he's dead. Oh. Sabony dies. Oh, Sabony dies. With this debating back and forth, what comes out of this guardian is nothing more than several insect parts, wings, and a skull before they turn to ash and goop. Whoa. Like, how negative was it? Um, 30, I think. Oh, though, so he's not dead, dead. He's unconscious. Sure. All right. So he's currently just. I assume no one's going to ceiling. stabilize him or anything. Most of, uh, most of his body I'm just... Not, I'm not sure how. <laughs> how do you heal a devil? Like, I... Do, doesn't <laughs> healing <laughs> work? Natural 20 constitution saving throw. He's alive. So as he goes to the surface... First off, that saving throw. First that saving throw. He pulls yeah. one hit point. <laughs> as he so turns to one hit... Perfect. Hand. So how's your day going? <laughs> <laughs> and this his so eyes cool. open and goes... <laughs> I would... <laughs> Does uh, he make contact? Yeah, out of rage. Does he make contact? Oh, 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 shit. Does he act in rage against his contract? I'm going to make a wisdom saving throw here. All right. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> he doesn't like you already. That's fine. And if then he, he died and he... then came back to life. Oh, I thought you were going to say that. The first golden spot of his I will tell you. I unconscious. So that's a natural 15 plus what? Two. Or two. 17. I'm going to say he barely succeeds. <laughs> I'm saying. As he uh, lunges out and he goes, ah! As his other hand. <laughs> you were about to take a trip to the abyss the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> you Welcome back to the land of the living. Huh? I don't want to waste a six level spell. Do you have Make him violate the contract. As he retru- yes. uh, as the yeah. elemental. Ah! Completely banishes. We're, we're trying to kill him, aren't we? <laughs> we're not trying to kill him. We're trying to get him to violate a contract so that way we, can't we don't him. have to do shit. And the answer is no, I can't make him re-roll that. Okay. <laughs> I think he has to violate the contract so we can't Not anymore. I just used it on the... Right. Just... Listen to my roots. I mean, said. I could subtract a D8 from it. Unfortunately, it happened all fast oh. and it's already mm. too late. Listen to my yeah. roots. I listen, mean, master of perception over there, but... <laughs> listen to your origins, listen to your roots. <laughs> but I don't know the details of your contract, so I would have no reason to understand. Sure. Yeah. All right, as the water That's completely fine. receded... At this time, the water has receded to ankle height. As you're looking up into the fresh sky of the air, electrical energy still buzzing in your bodies for those that hit, or acid dripping off of them, as... The bone devil is currently licking its wounds. You and I like this. <laughs> Checking the skin that is now mostly Burn. dissolved onto its body. Yep. Sucks to suck. Let's go. There are still three core pillars that have yet to right. be. Right. And now I need to. It said, listen to your origins, listen to your roots. Let me, the... Let's examine these things here. I pulled that stone away. And then it rose up, so the stone's gone and so forth. But I'm looking at, I think we have to do each of these as tests. Each three, the other I, three. What are the, what, you said doors open. Where do the doors go? I think they're just drains. Do the doors line up you, with the pillars? 
looking around and with your passive investigation check and passive perception check of various uh, party members, there are several doors around the uh, wall stone of this pool on the outer edge that have turned and that were originally just uh, rock wall. But now that they have actually moved, you notice that they were part of like heavy door grates followed by chambers that have opened up that have released more pools of water. As far as you can tell in terms of what they are connected to, probably just ancient waterways that have driven this down. Okay, so we need to do these and not go through the doors. I mean, you can definitely go through the doors. If but I have a feeling it's here. Okay, so this explain to me the other the, three. Explain. This hole is in our, this thing is probably hundreds of feet deep. It's been buried and it's just the top. I'm doing right. spell swaps. Understood. Explain to me the other three, because that one was fairly self-explanatory. But yeah, 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 yeah. One of them, one of them is the turtle with the little polished disc, mm -hmm. holding a staff and a shield. Okay. So and there's by three, high. and there's like three hands or orifices. I'm wondering if I put my claws in it and try to turn. Okay. So, which one would you like to look oh. at for uh, first? There, there is there's the, the one with the turtle statue. We're we'll look at the turtle statue. Okay. So we gotta cut your heart out and put it in there. They're standing at a solid seven, eight foot tall tortoise Zero, statue, up, standing upright, looking a little weird in terms of its throat and facial structure. Um, possibly just as uh, some sort of artistic representation, maybe, hard to say. Looking at the center core of where its abdomen is, its shell is, and at first it's just a circle, but then you realize it's a... I uh, saw uh, artistic representation of oh, a the chest plate here. No, right. yeah, the chest plate, yeah, but a, uh, a carving of oh, what was I going to say? You messed me up. Ah, sorry. Of of a stone disc that has actually been placed onto him with strange etchings all over them. Am I able to read those? Is it awkward or no? See, not awkward. Runes of some sort. Cuneiform. Anyone, anyone know these symbols? Do you want to? Yes. Give me a few minutes. We'll continue I mean, looking while he's doing the rest. He speaks Aquan, or like. Mm -hmm. Wait, the runes are in Aquan? No, or no, they are not. Okay. It's, it's unknown. Yeah, my universal speech is outward, so yeah. not inward. And I didn't take oh, I have comprehend languages. languages. You do. That's also... much better than my option. No. My option's costly. Okay, I'll do that. Just I'll do the same. No, that, no, if it's a rune, it won't matter. But yes, it's it great. Can. Great, no. let's check it. Com Spoken comprehend language. languages, runes, You also languages. understand the written language. You see yeah. it as much. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's reading, too. Yeah, comprehend languages. Shit, no problem. Provided it's a language and not... Not a rune, which Wait, is are you doing symbol. it or am I? Hold it. Cool. So I'm stick not... in front of the, the turtle and start pulling out the... So while he's spending ten minutes doing that... <laughs> yeah. Ten minutes later, unless there's anything you would like to look at other things. Want to look at the other ones while, while we're here. Sure. While you're going... <laughs> beginning to... <laughs> consult the bones! Consult the bones! <laughs> it's been you nothing. Did that. Um, it's ten. This is going to be gone. This is going to be gone in ten minutes. I can give you another one. Mm, okay. But, uh, we'll see. I'm probably going to use it for one I of these things. Mm -hmm. So before he's done with the ritual, I'll have to use that. But there's the one with what looks to be dried out fire coral that has a lever next to it, ancient old wooden lever that's uh, attached in the floor. That's kind of partly in the base of the actual coral pillar itself. Uh, covered in various uh, uh, plant life that is now grouped. Because when you're standing on the uh, top of the ziggurat structure, um, not buried though, uh, you're actually out of the water itself. Now seeing the floor, seeing the reddish coral dance its way down, surprisingly artist artistically, though naturally chaotic of nature, it actually spins its way through grooves on the floor that dance its way around to the center of the actual structure itself, mm. outlining a circle-like thing at the center. I like look more of the circle. Can we look? Is there on the floor? <clears throat> there Make any... a investigation check. Now, can I add that? Yeah, you absolutely can. Well. I could, but I don't think I need to. 
Oh, well, an investigation, I probably do, because I have a plus zero on it. So we're going to use it. Oh, it added one. Oh, well, 17. 17? Yeah, we got one. Well, if you fail, fail mm -hmm. you get it back. Mm -hmm. Oh, true. Yeah. You now, you keep the inspiration. 17? Which means it didn't make it <laughs> if I keep the inspiration. Well, it's, it's no, a, you it's, lose it's the inspiration. You get, you get a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you get a little bit. It's an outline of possibly a door or stairwell that is folded up. Hard to say. Hmm. It is some sort of entryway, as far as you can tell. As you now see, the stone that you first initially uh, hung has come down to maybe 10 feet above it and stopped right before it. This is not good. It's going to actually close over the top of this thing. The stone is smaller than the representation of the stone on the map. Oh, all right. All right. It's maybe in six feet in diameter. So it kind of a, activate the four pillars, opens up the circle, and, and then the stone stairs go down. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what I think as well. That's, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting out of it. Wait, okay, so he can now right, comprehend so let's, the language. Let's read the, the disc. The disc? Not really a language, though primordial. Different types of primordial, as far as you can tell. Roll an arcana. Oh, thank God you did it. <laughs> <laughs> Good magic chipper. I don't know how it works. It just does. Oof. Right. I forgot I do this really, really well. Uh, 18. 29. 29. I okay. literally can't roll that. Or Jeez. He rolled a seven. 29. And you know the various parts of Sigil's pri uh, primal etching of various different elements. Not just the four elements, but other elements in between the four elements that are chaotically screw uh, spewed all over the dit. But you notice that there are also four part dits at, uh, that lead to the center with the arcana, with the investigation at the same time. You start to see various lines that bisect the uh, uh the two discs that seem to uh go to the next disc that have more chaotic uh, uh runes into it though before you even move it you notice that only a few of these movement lines would make proper arcane elemental versions of it uh symbols that would connect to each other as I if want, the disc can do those discs. Does that disc line up to what's on the floor? A little bit. Can't. Would I have to man, man, manipulate them in order to get them to match what's on the floor? Looking on the floor, make an investigation check. Can do that well too. Yeah. While they're doing this, mm -hmm. I'm resting. Okay. okay. Uh, twenty-one. 21. At first, no. But then as you look past and move a couple of the fauna out of the way, you notice mm -hmm. with a groove in the line, almost like a waterway, though not specifically used as a waterway, slightly divoted, you see the fire uh, coral going down one side, you see the chain feeding into the other, you see water still filled in one of them, Followed by look, uh, what looks to be nothing in the third. What does the third go to? Which pillar? The pillar of the Toro. Chain Earth? Blood. Blood. Wow. I was, going, I was going with Earth, Wind, and Fire, and I was going to... It's the life. We have, we have the core elements and, and the blood of the Toro. So I was right. We cut his heart out and we stayed. <laughs> <laughs> the Ziggurat must sure the have a captain. white guy with the insect wings volunteers real hard for the cutting your heart out. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 pick me. Pick me. <laughs> uh, let's you unlock like these others first then. <laughs> Alright. And, and the... And the Oh, yes, see, the, the see, worm, no, no. I haven't explained said... this yet. So, so let's let's be true to character. <clears throat> hey, Ak. Yes. Come here for a sec. What? Just come here. I'm. I'm yes. All right. Let me see your hand. All right. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, ow! <laughs> Where are you massaging me? Massaging it. <laughs> you know what? It's a lot better to do it on a spot that isn't moved uh-huh. all the time. And he, t- he takes he takes your hand, press it against the the disc. As you press it against the disc, smack! The blood starts to. Few more passes. Old magic. Nothing seems to happen. Eh, it'll figure. Now do the rest. Take your. Heal your slip. Thanks. Um, blood for the blood god. I was going to listen to <laughs> what <laughs> what the worm said about looking into. Uh, not from where the blood flows. I, I, I'm trying goes. to recall what the worm said. It was not looking into your soul, but looking uh, um, uh, your not your ancestors. Something to that effect. What did it? I forget what it said already. Damn your it. origin. Didn't My say origins. Anything. Yes. Remember your origins. What's mean by that? Let's look at the others first. Let's see here. The fire. I think we need to get fire going. I want to pull that lever. Ready? Yes. By the way, does anyone have anything that will protect against fire? They have absorb elements for me. <laughs> for you. As you go across the freaking room. Go ahead. I'll be over here. <laughs> I'm standing ready with the uh, the oh, so you water can't cross stuff with it. Say yeah, the word. We Say the word. Stand in it with the fire. Place rest. your uh, hands on the lever. That is a full leg long lever. So it's one of those <sighs> kind of mm-hmm. levers. Your passive strength is just fine as it cracks the various uh, coral that has grown around it over the time that it's been waterlogged. Many times you hear a <clears throat> clash, followed by. <clears throat> Followed by his fall out of fire that goes into the center of the coral itself, causing radiant heat to bathe you, taking eight points of fire damage. I didn't bother raging because I knew fire As would... the coral well, starts to... took eight points of fire damage? Just hit. Oh, Just okay. hit. Yeah, he was the only one next to the leader. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yep. Sorry. It's very coral... important with one of our party members. Oh, yeah. HP. Oh, yeah. As the coral sizzles and pops and begins to trickle down the coral that actually dances around the door itself. And you hear a... as it drops a solid two inches. But nothing more. The nothing comes down through the... As the center ring that is about ten foot in diameter ring dropped two inches. Ah. But stopped after that. Maybe the turtle was too early. Probably. Seemingly, the that the uh, coral that was holding it in place has burnt away, but the fire still burns. Let's check the other one. I still the next. What's the other one besides? We have the we have the chain. I've already done. We have the, the did the fire. Did the turtle the turtle one? What's but, the but, la- but, the but last one is the actually never described. The the no, there was just the fire coral that burned. Right. Right. The turtle is still there. There's the turtle. rock lift, the fire coral, the turtle statue, and one other one. There's a recess in one of the to- uh, in the coral pillars that you haven't looked into yet. It had a strange symbol on the inside with a glancery uh, glance. Is, yeah, are we able to still look and stuff and read stuff? Yeah, sure. There. You look ahead over. Just... Uh, uh, well, another ten yeah. minutes, or do we have to? No, I'm just last. Oh, all right, good. Yeah. What looking inside. What, what does that say? What does that say? What does that say? But you're gonna have to look me up. Thank you. Is it that tall? Do I have to look him up? Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a pretty big effect, too, as you just... You... Also, he would make you even if you didn't have yeah, to do that. Yeah. True the character. Mm-hmm. Um, looking inside, there's a good little pit where there's a uh, smooth-out area of just stone, as far as you can tell, that has a weird, almost like... It would be like a hand, but if you spaghettied each uh, finger and the hand was actually more, more uh, rounded itself, of like some sort of relief, but it's missing the actual thing that it's supposed to be inside this relief. Um, with prior, uh, some sort of symbole on top of it, with a simple phrase uh, that doesn't really translate well in your tongue, but it's essentially, remember the tide. We need like a seashell? And this is one of the paths the of the water that is actually filled uh, up in this area. When it comes to sea turtles, not necessarily turtles, but when it comes to sea turtles, they 
lay their eggs. You want to lay at night, eggs in and this then thing? they the the younglings hatch out at high tide. But I don't know if that's what we're talking about here. Because that way the water's closer to them. With this second a uh, second symbol under there. Ocean's gifts. Seashell? Seashell? I don't want to say hands like Starfish? Star Starfish? Sparks, what? make a perception check. Mm. It's not as strong as you. And I can't, help, I can't help. There are a number of seashells littered all over the lower uh, areas. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to go. With a 21 perception, it takes you a little bit more than just, uh, oh, yeah. It'll be like, you go, nah, nah. Have to go back a few times to see the sim uh, symbol. And then you pluck one of them. Out of Vedic's hands, like he's just been playing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a spider. There it is. Jeez. <laughs> a scorpion spider conch. Ah. As you pick it up, turn it around, and there's a, a moment where you're trying to suck it and play for it. Thunk. And you hear it as water starts to pour out into the trough that was already filled up. It begins to flow and begins to fill up the two inch gap that is now received. And then as it fills up after a few moments, there's a couple of cracks into it. As now spidering around, there seems to be hairline fractures that the water now spills into. A number of them. There's still one pillow remaining. The torso. Tried blood, right? Well, you had a good run, so let me just get that. Well, right we there. tried the blood. <laughs> <laughs> we tried. Ah. The, we tried the blood before. Mm -hmm. There's still your but, pulp but, in there. But the but the, the other the other pillars weren't activated, and the, and this wasn't lowered. So let's try it again. Mm -hmm. Hold on. <laughs> 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 I understand it. Second another. <laughs> Two points of piercing damage. It's like, ow! What the hell? <laughs> purple, they grow back, right? It's not my hands. hands. <laughs> it's not my hands. Just like dangling my sword over it. <laughs> Shaking the blood off my sword. <laughs> go back. Go back. Purple, you are back, right? Blood <laughs> respells onto this. On the Onto the, on the, onto the disc. Onto the disc. And again, nothing happens. But as you're holding onto it, you notice that a couple of discs, as you twist it, you're like, it's not working. A couple of discs do turn. So now you can arrange the discs in the right format. Oh. Heal me, please. Fucker. I didn't, I didn't do it. Sure, yeah. Did you have you a know. beer? Here. No. Have your arrow back. You didn't do it. Bullshit. <laughs> <Wait, laughs> have another drink. Wait. Dorm K. He'll hand you a beer. Dorm K. Oh, yeah. That's true. Drink. I do. No, wait. You're right. I have one. Thank you. I'm going to use the other hand. Like. Uh, I have Amulet of Drunkard. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Go, 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 And And the medical. Hmm? medical. Hmm? We're the Jacobs of the Drunkard, too. Okay. There are very similar of making other elementals. As you roll my phone. From one point to the other, you're making various primal uh, uh, symbols that would re yep. represent earth, air, water, and fire that are moving in between so each element. one. And you can make, again, for like for the uh, four layers, you can do like earth, 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 or air, air, or whatever. You can make any sorts of combinations. What would you like to make? Oh boy. This is going to be a big decision for you. What do you want? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. There's earth, there's, there's, there's the stone fire, earth, water, 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 earth, fire, water, and then, oh, so whatever I choose here could actually. Oh my god. This is, hence the name, the elemental temple. Elemental harmony? This is not harmonious. I'm now conflicted. All right, I'm going to try here. All of them? Wait, yeah. stop. No, it's me. Vedic's with his nimble hands just got 
Like a mad scientist. I'm like, I wonder if I should. <laughs> As with each air you do uh, from outside to in, you notice that the actual primal symbols are formed in a way that is actually making a bigger symbol itself, making one last air. Primordial uh, room. As this uh, lower jaw opens up of the turtle in a hissing sound of intake of air. I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> As air flow, <laughs> as constant airflow is going in, whistling of air as it goes travels down the body through um, the crevice itself, forming an air current that is clear as day as fog of air goes down uh, the groove and enters into uh, the ten foot uh, region, and bubbles start to foam at the crash. It's the one last time. You're right. <clears throat> as the stone lowers, makes contact of the very center point of this circle, and the stone falls away as the water spills in, as the fire lights up a, uh, a room underneath as the stone continues uh, downward, and you hear the air spilling inward into the deep. The ziggurat has been opened. Is the rock moving? Continuing downward. Is it going to stop on top of it? Is it going to stop on top of it, or is it, is it going to fill it, or is it going to... <laughs> it's already gone through. It's already gone through. It's and not that big. There's a big. spiral staircase going downward. Now... What is that pulling if it's going down? Is this like a... We have I to... think it's the timer. Oh, crap. I told you. In the meantime, while everything was going on, sparks. You hear a... Oh, oh, oh. As you look behind and actually attach to the base of your jetpack, electrical jetpack, there's a thing that you're not uh, accustomed to. What's that Shake out the water. Shake out the water, yep. You should be in bag of holding. What are you? You don't recognize this device. Here we go. As you see, a about this size leather case, hard, of uh, one, uh, leather case lined with wood on the inside. Uh, as you open it up, you see a series of metal cogs, gears, and buttons attached with a, uh, a glass sphere on one side of it, almost like a steampunk, very oversized cell phone. And you hear. Ooh. Sparks. <clears throat> Sorry, wrong voice. Sparks, Sparks. This is Gancer, member of the Thiesel Committee Council. How did you get in such a small box? This is not um, my I misspoke. Member of the. It's been a long day. Do you hear me? Uh, yes. How uh, says Sparks? Yes. You see Who's a small that? image of a outline of a. Very familiar, jagged face, robotic face of council member tempered thoughts, Glancer. Does anyone know what this is? You're cur they're currently busy as you kind of had to step off to the side. Ah. I'm about to grab that chain and come in like a wrecking ball. As you see them uh, be preparing to d dive in, Sparks, I need to speak to you. We planted this on you due to a con contingency, due to exoplanar. Uh, Phenomenons. Makes sense. Time's been a little weird. I understand that you cannot explain everything you've been doing. However, I don't know what we've been doing either. Well, we got we got about ten minutes before this thing shuts off. It doesn't have infinite power, so I'm going to start talking. You're going to start listening, Understood. and then we're going to start doing stuff. Got gotcha. Anyway, stuff. I have a request for you. Okay. The war between the Vorosian Empire is going well. They are starting the retreat due to certain circumstances that you brought to our attention last time you went to our war room. Gave us a bit gotcha. of a shock, but it gave us a good advantage. We are preparing the march onto their territory. Okay. And we need a head figure. I understand the next proposal I will be asking from you is going to be difficult to, for you to answer. And I do not expect an answer right away, but 
You are the first hero of our city. A forged hero of our My city. Hero. The people see you as one. That is all that matters. And they need someone to lead the charge. It will make it less messy on both fronts. And knowing you, and knowing the information you brought to us, I fully expect for you to be asking. Stop it. I can see you just fine. Just look into the glass. That's all you need. There we go. Oh, you're too close. And I know for a fact you will be asking favors from us to assist from this terrestrial threat. Oh, that's, th that's what you're talking about. Got it. What do you think I was asking? There's just so many world-ending calamities in play right now, it's hard to keep them all straight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, to, to be fair, I'm currently on top of the largest celestial body that I've ever seen, which is just happens to be a gigantic turtle, which has multiple bodies, biomes on its back, and I just got, was fighting a massive ancient eel type thing. I don't know, it was massive, it was talking to us, and, and we're now we're going down through to a, I think they called it a ziggurat? I don't know. Sounds weird. So, right. yeah, one point twenty. World ending calamities. Yeah, the Jurassic is actually it's not the biggest thing that I'm currently thinking of right now. What a statement. Well, <laughs> we have a Jurassic here. <laughs> it might be coming to our kingdom, your home. Yes, I'm aware of that, and I, I believe our plan was to come back after we finished this. Do, do you have an ETA? <laughs> very soon like within the next few days soon right we are going to be making additional forward operation bases in the enemy territory we need someone someone like you very capable leading the charge as second hand to the general that will be leading this additionally we need someone to be persuading the other council members <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. You mind me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have everyone but me roll persuasion this session. <laughs> Sparks, whether you like it or not, you are a persuasive figure. Whether you speak or not, you are still a symbol to us. Symbol I can be. Time is running short. As you see the little bits of gears that are currently starting to heat up and smoke a little bit, and it's becoming a little hot in your hands. We need someone to lead the charge, and I would like to ask you. You are the only civil menagerie person that I can trust, apart from anyone else inside your group that deal with strange phenomenons on a daily basis. You do not have to answer right away, but it will take you away from your current duties. Think about it. I know you'll be leaving the front on your end, but you'll fight a front. Yes, I know it's on fire. That's normal? It's normal. Gives me a one minute timer. This Mitchell this this self destruct in five seconds. <laughs> I know. What was I speaking about? Is the well, front leading the front? Around? All right, leading right. the front. Right. Thank you, the smaller boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you need to decide which front to choose. The one that will help your small group or the one that will help your city. I get it. Anyway, good luck. Don't die. Don't make any deals with intermix. <laughs> <laughs> Inter what? Inter what? <laughs> <laughs> it starts boiling in the water. <laughs> Various bits of metal is now bent and twisted out of matter, but the message has been given. Well then. Take out my book. Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> no one was more surprised than I. <laughs> Today was the day, and I thought that they were the one. <laughs> Dear diary. Today I was pretentious. My sister was crazy. <laughs> 
inside the front. <laughs> Today we were kidnapped by hill people. It was the best day ever. <laughs> Regardless, Sparks, is there anything you would like to do before joining the group? As you now see the bowler starting to go in. No. Nope. Okay. As one by one. I came in like an ecking ball. Right. <laughs> Quinn, on the boulder, descending into the spiral staircase uh, downwards. Has it been an hour? It has not. All right. I could jump on it. I begrudgingly go with. <laughs> <laughs> As you guys enter one by one into this elemental harmony, the holy grounds of a certain something, You'll decide whether this is good or bad for you. So Regardless of what it says inside. As we're going down. As you're going down. Seeing the various staircases infuse, turning into artwork from the various different elements of air, earth, water, and fire, creating a mural created from the very elements itself on the wall on, on, as you're walking down. It's rather pretty. We're going to take... Uh, uh, take yeah. Did anyone... Fireworks. Firework? Weird. Sparks, you have something. I'm holding like that shambled mess of gears and whatnot. I picked it up and looked at it. Did anyone else hear that? Hear this thing? No. no. Hear what? We were occupied with the... Oh my god, I've never seen one of these intact before. (laughs) It's not. Why? (laughs) There's a couple of (laughs) Never mind. (laughs) It's not intact anymore. What, What is it? A thing that my city... Planted on me is a contingency plan? I don't know. Well, long story short, um, what's his name? Talked to me about calamity stuff, uh, things dying, wars going well, um, things coming to my home city, well, home city of the forge, not really my home city, but I guess definitely my home city at this point, but I had to rest. Uh, they want, they asked me bluntly what they need a head figure and someone to lead the charge and someone to be a, a head figure and to, I guess, fight and I need to figure out which side I'm going to be on, be which front, the front of the city or the front with you. And their top three choices were busy, so they called you. I think so. Because, you know, I mean... Did they say head figure or figure I was thinking the Captain America movie, you know, where they, they like, join the war effort. He spends the entire time doing, giving the to <laughs> stage <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, you know... He's the natural plan man with the plan. We're... I don't know about you, Sparks, but I'm doing this to try and help others that are not just beyond us. Well, we were trying, but my understanding is after we did this, we're going to go back and fight the war. Uh, We're going to hopefully go back and correct and uh, hopefully try and save, uh, um, uh, save... That means, so that's, so, I think that's the side they're talking about. But it about. sounds like you're being summoned back more, like, <laughs> rapidly. That's so- days. Which war are they talking about? Are they talking about the <laughs> which specific Tarrasque, or are they talking, they talking about the Barosian Empire coming after your village, or are they talking about the army going into the Barosian capital? It's a very good question. I didn't ask that because there wasn't enough time. For so, for there. simplicity's sake, he was asking to uh, return to the uh, to uh, the Forge Nation to. Fight the Barosian Empire. Allow me to speak, buddy. To he's got the fancy chair. Yeah, fight the Tarask. To prepare for the Tarask incoming, set up order operation bases, and to keep people's head on straight in terms of public, national, and for the front lines. Quite literally, cataclysmic. So that you would be acting a peacekeeper on both sides, so that you'd be uh, amassing troops, or possibly. Assisting against the trucks. They need a poster boy. Yes, they need a poster boy. Hence that head figure or figure head question. But the answer to that question is yes. Essentially, <laughs> he's asking because he has no confidence that he can do this by himself. I mean, I did save his life, literally. Yeah. Is this a now question? I, he said days. I, he didn't specify <laughs> amount of days. He just said days. So can we do the... Rock thing. I, I don't think this will take much longer. And after that, we'll hop in the painting and go home. He's at Warforged, Captain okay. America. Literally. Oh, 
It exists. Of course it does. Google <laughs> Warforged Captain America is the first result. I, I can't do... show it to you because it's not our artwork. I'm using a large shield and a sword. And your gun Warforged just... Captain America. Yeah, and your gun just blew up, so. And I can jump over buildings. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm a Warforged Captain America. He's the man Whether you enjoy or hand. not, you're currently moving forward with the uh, task at hand. You guys are descending into uh, the Ziggurats to explore this domain for a vestige of power. And we are now going to be expediting everything we're doing because I'm on a time limit. Before we went down, I made sure to go and get my barrel. The barrel? The enhanced barrel that I spent like 400 gold pieces on. I'm getting that back. Oh, yeah. It takes you a little bit. Uh, no, make a perception check. Not one. Not to one? You don't know where okay. it fucking went. Guys, my gun exploded. There's a na- there's a barrel somewhere in this cavern. You guys want to help me find it before we go down? It's right there. Oh. <laughs> You're passing for 22 passing for much. It's over there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you wedge it out a little bit. Back holding. And you begin heading down. Has anybody seen it? It's over there. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, thank you for joining today's thank session. You. I hope you enjoyed it, even though we didn't finish this fight, though you did survive it politically and mentally. That was not going to be a fun fight. That was not going to be a fun fight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it too, Internet World. Till next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep on rolling. No plan survives first contact. You know? Mm -hmm. Anyway, I wanted to say one last thing because I don't know if my brother's going to be here the next time and followed by many other times for the next time. Um, Nathan is heading off to boot camp. When it for those of you who don't know that, I'm in, I'm enlisting in the military. I'm going to the Air Force, going in boot camp. Hopefully in the next few weeks, and we'll see if I'm even here for any more games. It'll be probably a while before I come back. Thus, the Forge Nation needs a post to play, and because I'm not going to kill him when he's gone. Anyway, you'll, you'll see Sparks again. Nathan, we'll miss you. Don't die out there. I don't plan to. I love you guys. Seriously, stay well. <laughs>